Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Bastard Bonds. We're on episode 8, folks, and I don't know where I want to go right now. Okay, so, uh, somebody gave me a further breakdown of how this all works. The arrows are places that I haven't been yet. The sparklies are places that I have been and have cleared. And the other ones are places I've either not been able to clear or they're unclearable. Places like where I think I'm standing right now, the quiet clearing. You can't actually do anything to it, so it's just a place that's there. That being said, all the arrows are the places I have yet to be. So what I kind of want to do is go back to the stocks here real quick. I know that's where we started off at and it might seem crazy to go back there, but can I not do that? Oh, I wanted to try to open something with my, uh, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, never mind. That's right, we couldn't go back in there once we escaped. Hmm. We haven't really been able to use any of our special opening things that we can do. That makes me curious. Well, the Fragmented Fortress is available. Ah, let's go visit that. That sounds like it could totally get us killed and everything else. Many structures you have seen are in grievous disrepair. But this one seems worse than most. It seems like it could topple in on itself at any moment. Perfect place to explore! Let's go do it. Oh, really? Hmm. Good to know. So if you dismiss a bandmate, it is gone for all of eternity. Well, until you play again. On a different character, perhaps. Grieve, why don't you come lead us on into a battle? Fire pit. Let's light it up. Now let's open the door, and inside we shall go. And you can almost guarantee that this is going to go poorly. Yep. Alright, so what are we up against here? A thrall, a witch, which we're going to probably have to close with. Witch, witch. <laughs> um, who's, it's Robin's turn. I'm gonna move her over here. We have the thrall with a bucket, apparently. Oh good, the witch came out front. That's awesome, that's what I was hoping for. Why don't we have the orange uh, thing anymore, I'm curious. Because we swapped it out to get that, hmm. I don't know. I thought we already had that, that's fine. All right, awesome. Bam, big hit, big hit! We fumbled, but we killed her? Did she cause fumbling? Is is that what... Like, I'm a little confused as to why she fumbled there. Oh, you're hesitating, huh? Alright, well, let's negotiate with you. I want a ransom. Yes, of course, just don't hurt me. Vadim escaped, and he dropped something for us. It is a... Wow. Weapon critical, threat, and physical. Not bad, the weapon critical is actually quite high. Maybe we hold on to that, I don't know, we'll see. Alright, well... Throttle. Wow, we one-shot that guy, okay. Well, I feel like we did quite well. Robin soaked a little bit of the damage, but not a tremendous amount. There's a sack, we'll examine it. The sack is made of a thick, densely woven material. You pick it up and a pleasant jingling sound comes from inside. Empty the sack, empty out the sack, yeah. 200 gold and this thing, what is this? It's ma a mana battery, it's junk and it's valuable apparently. Alright, we will turn the lantern on because, I don't know, it's, it's there I guess. There's a small silver key on top of the cabinet. I will take the normal key. Alright, we have opened the door. Inside the door, we have discovered nothing yet. And inside this door, we have discovered once again nothing. Well, like I said, I'm a little disappointed in that. Oh, there's also a healing a draft on the ground. Well, I suppose if I had to pick it up, I could do that. Alright, we'll come over here and what's behind this door? 
Surprise! A lot of nothing. Well, nothing super exciting happened. It's locked. We do have the key. We are going to unlock it because of our awesomeness. I'm gonna take a peek. Uh, no, dude, I don't want you to do any of that. Get over here. Alright, we're gonna slowly creep forward. And aha! Your day is about to end badly. I don't I don't know what's over here, so there's that. Uh is the thrall what uh, Beto will stand here. That's a Zambi. Alright, well, we'll move back and let the Zambi approach. And we will attack the Zambi with much hate. Oh, we put ourselves in a bad spot there. Okay. We'll defend with him. Ah, that's probably a good call. He looks like he hits pretty. Holy crap. Okay. I say, as hard as he hits, apparently she hits harder. Okay. Well, there's that. Um, do I really want to go up this silly ladder? Probably not, but we're going to do it anyway. Something's preventing this door from opening. Well, I guess we're going to go up the silly ladder after all. And on the second floor, what do we find but a cabinet? The cabinet is covered in dust. The drawer seems to be locked. Okay. Uh huh. That is also seemingly locked. And what are we gonna find here, ladies and gentlemen? A door. Really? That's not like a giant spider that wants to eat me or anything, no? Hmm. I shall open the chest. The chest is teetering off the edge. There are a few bottles of vintage soda laying inside. And not anymore. Huh. Well, so much for that. So I guess that's a thing that happened. Oh, what the heck is that? That does not look good. I do not know what that is. But probably not a good thing. It's a wyvern. Alright, well we're gonna lay into the wyvern. Get him, Bates. And finish him off, Robin. Yeah! Alright, what did we get here? We got a scythe of some sort. It's a war sickle. Adds one to reach, thirty to critical, twenty to threat, and ten to physical. That is actually not bad. I think we're gonna swap that out with your crude pike, buddy. That is going to be the play for now. Well, it does not look like we can reach half of the doors in this place. Alright, what's next? Nothing? There's gotta be something behind this door, right? You can't see the bottom. Well, that's a thing. Can we clear the rubble out? Large pieces of debris from the broken walls are littered across the ledge. It might be safer to push them off rather than try to step over them. Try removing the rubble. Clearly outside the range. Okay. Well, Beto, looks like it's your time to shine, buddy. Try removing it? Yeah. Oh. Labor, pick one. Is that good? Seems to be no way around it. I'm gonna guess that that wasn't good. Barely. After dropping a few rocks into the hole, you notice there is no sound of impact. The way forward is now clear. Well, Beto took a little bit of a beating for that, but I guess I'm okay with that. Good job, buddy. That's why we bring you along. To throw rocks off of ledges, I know. That is the life. That is the dream. Hmm. 
Oh, what do we have now? We have a grotesque. Well, it looks like we all get to move before it does. Alright, Grotesque, bring it on, buddy. Let's see what we can do to you. Camaraderie! Yes! Ooh, big hit from Beto, I think. Yeah. We're gonna defend. Oh, well, yeah, so I don't know what you bring to the table, but I think it may be a white... Oop. Are we gonna fumble? We are gonna fumble across the board. And so is he! Surprise! And it looks like we're gonna get the advantage here. Oh, big advantage. All right, and good day, sir. Huh, well, that happened. Uh, whatever this room was, it's now a balcony. Mm. Oh. Oh, okay. Didn't really expect that. Hmm. Oh, we could just totally walk in the dark. Cool. Or terrifying, depending on how you look at it. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, this is weird. Huh. Neat. And by neat, I actually don't mean that at all. I mean, this is like, really bizarre. Okay, I guess we backtrack now. We've walked on uh, the uh, edge of doom. It doesn't look like there's a whole heck of a lot left for us to do here. There's no way to get to that door? Nope. Well, I... It's strange, to say the least. Alright, maybe Robin can open the door? Or the lock or something? Okay, I guess we go down the ladder then. <laughs> Who knows what's down here waiting for us? I'm sure there's something. Nothing seems to have changed. I'm sure I'm missing something like painfully obvious right now. And I apologize, folks, if that is indeed the case, but Yeah, I don't I don't know what to do at this point. Okay, well, I I did the best I could, guys and gals. I'm sure we'll either be coming back, and I'll be like, ah, oh, that was stupid of me. Or something else entirely. So let's exit the area. We did get a little bit of experience, so everybody leveled up, so that's good at least. No sale, no sale, no sale. Nothing. Not able to sell any of our stuff. Well, at least she's still trying. Good old Nadine. All right, we're gonna go with Ward a little bit more. And there it is. The power of your healing aura is improved. Whenever you fully ward a spell, you regenerate some hit points. Cool. All right, next up, what do we have? More guarding. Doubles the protection bonus of your equipped armor. Sweet. And then on this side, our laborer is laboring. We're gonna give him one point in the fight, and then we're gonna continue down the labor tree. Just so he gets a little bit more oomph out of the whole ordeal. Cool. Continue onward, and finally Robin, the necromantic archer, apparently. Uh, thwart and hunt. Hmm. I don't feel I need so much in thwart, so we are gonna actually continue to increase hunt. We'll see how it plays out. Alright, and with that, we will continue on, and we'll find a new place to go and pillage and loot and ravage and whatever else. It's fine. 
A ruined homestead, a roadside, a rest stop. Well, it says we haven't been there yet, so let's go and visit there. Shelters like this are often built alongside long stretches of road. They offer shelter for desperate travelers, but also for bandits. Looking inside is a gamble. Well, let's gamble, folks. Let's gamble. Ooh, I should have gone back to our... You know what? I still can. Come on, man. Get Exit, yes. Exit the area. Hold on, I know no experience. We're gonna come right back here, guys and gals. I wanna go offload some of our crap at our uh, base camp up here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. There we are. Let's enter. I suppose we're, like, storing up more manpower, are we? Probably not. Alright, Bluebeard McGee. Why don't you sell that? Hmm. You don't have anything because you're not with us. Keep that one for now. A Robin, you got some more junk to sell. Let's throw that into the fray. Alright. And good old Beto. Let's get rid of the dagger. And the bludgeon. Actually, let's get rid of the crude pike. I like that better. We'll put the dagger in storage. Okay. That works. That works out okay. So, no one actually has armor except for Robin and Grieve? Yeah. That's how it's working right now. Well, I suppose I can accept that. Alright, let's get out of this. And let's exit and get back and try to clear out the little tent over here. And if we're successful, yay us! If we're a failure, well, so be it. It is simply what it is. Alright, let's try again. Round two. There's a statue down below. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Well, there's a lantern on two of the tables. Let's talk to the apostate. This place is dangerous. Be on your guard. I came here for much the same reason as you, no doubt. Looking for supplies. I haven't found much yet, but I'm going to rest up and take it slow. I was nearly had by a monster back there, so I don't really want to push it. Alright, we can examine the old memorial. There is a gloriously presented nude sculpture. The subject is dashing and heroic, and the presentation is both indulgent and irreverent. What little he is wearing is reminiscent of a high-ranking military uniform. There is a barely legible inscription at the base of the statue. It reads, Lord Maxim Spartil. A popular man, evidently. The bandits were waiting around the side of the building. Whatever will I do? I ain't scared, I ain't. Man up, Beto. Man up, buddy. Bring it on. Come on. Alright, Robin. Take a shot at the highwaymen. I will also take a shot at the highwaymen. And we will focus on this. Ooh, missed. I'm gonna def no, you know what? I'm gonna man up. 20 damage, bring it. You're a little piddly too? That ain't nothing. Be ashamed of yourself. Ah, we fumbled. <clears throat> but we didn't fumble that time. <clears throat> yeah, Daredevil in super man up mode. I am. Ooh, we just got free food out of that. That is amazing. I am super glad that happened. Alright, let's get that into the Omnomers, and we are looking so lead. And potentially we can still go back and recruit more folks, so also a net win. We'll exit the area, we'll take a peek. It's not going to be much in the way of experience. That was a pretty pathetic ambush, I'm not going to lie. Alright, did we manage to sell anything? Aha, we sold the bludgeon, and not the crude bike. Well, it's something. Why did that just explode? What happened over there? Oh, we have the manpower to claim it now. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Um, or we have the manpower to claim this one. 
I'm curious as to what happened over here. Supports seven, band of five. Uh, well, that'll actually enable us to get our blacksmith. Oh, look at that. Is the guy still in here? He is. We own this place now. This place be on our guard. Don't want to push it. Alright, buddy. It's fine. Alright, so this is ours now? Like, we, we own this, or...? Shall we see what that is? What, what, what's happening? Maybe I, I clicked the wrong thing. That's possible, too. Forgive me while I fumble around like a complete noob. That's what I do. Ah, that's what you're supposed to do. Okay. Yeah, I hit enter location like a dumb dumb head. Alright, let's see if all of our stuff came with us or not. Hey, everything is set up. Our item stuff did come with us. Great. Cool, cool, cool. And our base. We have one service available in vacancy. Okay, well, let's see. What is the... Hold on. No, 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 no. Uh, what was it? F1? F1. Merchant offers items for sale and will regularly come and go. Uh, blacksmith can combine two identical weapons to make a more powerful one and are able to add gemstones to certain items. Locksmith will make and sell keys that will fit all but the most unique locks. Porters come with you on your adventures to give you extra inventory space. The more porters means more back space. Okay. An appraiser will help the quartermaster sell difficult to move items and will adjust all stronghold prices in your favor. And healers help allies recover after being injured in battle. Multiple healers work together for greater effectiveness. Alright, or efficiency. We'll go with the blacksmith. Folks have told me that the blacksmith is definitely worth grabbing up, so, well, we'll do it. 900 surplus man power and one vacancy. Okay. Alright, and... Um... Hmm. Alright, I guess we go to exit, and they're gonna want us to grab our party? We're gonna have to reassemble our party? I don't know exactly what happened. Our Sasquatch guy doesn't look super happy. Alright, our party's back and ready to go. Okay, we're good. Alright, let's go take a peek. What happened over here at this place? Some sort of explosion happened, so I don't know what's going on, but I'm ready to go take a peek. Because we've cleared this out before. Aha! What is that? Some sort of weird rat man? What is it? It's a rat man. It really is a rat man, okay. Well, it's a dead rat man now, so there's that. Any more? Yep, of course there's more. Oh, really? I don't have line of sight of that? That's super weak. Dead! So, like, the, like, Ratlings decided that they were gonna come and try to take over? I mean, it seems silly. Like, that they would even think that they could contend with us. Oh my god, I can shoot them, like, forever away. That's crazy. Okay, that's... More dead rats. Hmm. We had a rattling infestation. I don't feel very concerned going through this, but well, we'll do what we can to clear this out. I don't know where I should be heading. Oh. Okay. Like I'm not sure where they're at that they see me, but you know, kudos to them, I guess, for actually seeing me. Alright, camaraderie is here, we are ready, we are eager, we are excited, and we are gonna kill you! Splat. No, not quite in splat enough, huh? Alright, scooching on over there, scooching on. Oh, fumble, that's not good. Rat a tat, fumble. 
<laughs> all right. All right, so I'm gonna come over here and miss again. Can we do anything else? Is that even... There we go. Yeah, daredeviling it up. Where some of us failed, others prevailed. Okay, what do we have now? That is not a rat at all. That is a very large creature that looks like it wants to kill me a lot, so we're gonna potentially get away from that thing. Uh-huh. And we're gonna come over here. And we're gonna casually just wait for the big giant creature to come over here and eat our face. And hope that we don't die a horrible death. All right, we'll let the big man come out first, and we will start throwing stuff at the dire bear. All right. Well, I guess we'll stand by. Defend. Can we stand by again? I guess we got to move down and then come back. It's a tad unfortunate, but, you know, it, it happens. Oh, big crit from our girl, Robin, doing work. What? That was amazing. Is there anything that we missed in this place? Well, I don't know what's going on, but we are just crushing it. We are killing it right now. Rats and bears and who knows what else. There ain't nothing against us. They ain't got the skills that kills. Yeah, Beto, it's fine, buddy. There it is. Another simple and easy victory for us. This place is actually relatively large. I'd say it's mildly inconvenient that we even have to like walk around and deal with any of this stuff. Oh, we have the headless guy again. Didn't we kill him once already? I feel like we did. Oh, he seems angry. Dullahan. Or Dedahan, as I like to call him. Area is secured. Alright, so we secured the area back from whatever horrible, awful thing was coming to murder us. I'm totally okay with that. I guess we can just exit, so we'll do that. And I believe we'll get a, a very small amount of experience, apparently. But, that's okay. Did we get any luck on selling this stuff? Now nah, we sold the mana battery, and that's about it. Well, we tried, folks. We tried. Oh, and we have more explosions, so more places are becoming unawesome. Well, that's okay. We'll go over there and we'll fight that in the next episode. Alright, folks, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time with more Bastard Bonds. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>